Snow drifted gently over Winterfell, as Arya moved like a shadow, eyes sharp, watching the darkness. What if I told you, you could type one simple idea, and an AI will turn it into a complete short film? Script, characters, scenes, animation, even voice, done for you in minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using just one powerful tool. You'll learn how to create your own videos, customize characters, add voiceovers, and even make money with your final film. Trust me, you'll want to stick around till the end because this tool changes everything. So, let's get started. Alright, so the tool I want to show you today is called Catalyst AI. What makes this tool so powerful is that you can start with just a simple idea or prompt and it will automatically generate a full script, create scene images, and even put together the entire video for you, using characters that stay the same throughout the whole story. To begin, just click the link in the video description and sign up using your Gmail account. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken straight to the main interface. As you can see, there are two main options here. One is for creating storyboards and the other is for making explainer videos. You'll also notice that there are lots of ready-made templates you can use to build your own story quickly. Okay, now go ahead and click this button to generate a story from your idea or script. After clicking it, you'll see two choices. The first option lets you upload or paste your own written script. The second option allows you to simply type in a basic story idea, and the AI will create a full story for you. So, if you already have your script ready, just click on the upload button and add your script. But since I don't have one right now, I'm going to use the AI-generated option. Now we're in the prompt section. This is where you'll type in your simple story idea or topic. Then, choose how many scenes you want. The more scenes you select, the longer and more detailed your story will be. After that, just click Generate Script. In a few moments, Catalyst AI will create a full script for you, scene by scene, based entirely on your prompt. Next, you'll need to choose your video aspect ratio here. If you want to make changes to any scene, just click the pencil icon to edit it. And if there's a scene you don't want to include, simply uncheck the box next to it and it will be left out of your final project. Once you've made all your changes, click Next to move forward. Now you'll be asked to choose a video style. There are many styles you can pick from here. For this example, I'm choosing Cinematic, and then I'll click Create Project. At this stage, Catalyst AI automatically generates characters for you based on the script. You can either keep these characters the way they are, or you can customize them. To do that, click the Edit button. Inside this section, you can completely change how your characters look. You can use the default Catalyst characters, or you can create brand new ones by clicking here. Now, let's say you want to create your own custom character. You'll need to write a character description. To help with that, I use ChatGPT. What I do is download an image of a character from Google, then upload that image to ChatGPT. Next, I write this simple prompt and click Generate, and it writes a short, detailed description that matches the character in the image. Now, copy that description and paste it into Catalyst AI. Next, you can upload a face reference image for your new character. After you upload it, Catalyst will show you a preview, and you'll see that the face looks very close to the one we uploaded. Click Save, and that's it. You can repeat these same steps for the other characters too. That way, all your characters will match the style and look you want for your story. When you're finished setting up all the characters, just click Create Project. Now Catalyst will start generating images for every scene in your script. And here's the result. Catalyst has created high-quality scene images, and what's really great is that the characters stay consistent throughout the video, which makes your story look professional. You can still edit your project if you want. For example, if you want to add a new scene, just move your cursor between two scenes and click the little plus icon. Then, type a short prompt, and the AI will generate a new image for that scene. Now, if you don't like how any scene looks, you can easily make changes. First, just click the Edit button on the scene you want to fix. Once you're in, you'll see the original prompt that was used to create that image. If you want to change the image, just type a new prompt in the box and click to generate a new scene image. The AI will create a few new versions for you to choose from. Pick the one you like best. If you want to crop your image, click on the Crop tool located on the left-hand side. You can adjust the size and framing to fit your style better. Next, let's say you want to change your character's pose or posture. To do this, click on the Pose Editor icon. The AI will then scan the character and show you a skeleton-like structure over their body. From here, you can click on any of the points called nodes and drag them to adjust the pose. For example, in this image, I want to slightly move the character's hand, so I'll grab this node and shift it. Then I'll click Generate again, and here's the new result. See how the AI has perfectly adjusted the pose based on what we changed? It looks much better now. Another really cool feature is the ability to add new elements into your scene using AI. Just click on the Brush tool and brush over the part of the image where you want something to appear. After that, type what you want to add in the prompt box. Then choose how many versions you want and click Generate. 
and here's the result. It looks great. Once you're happy with how everything looks, click save. You can follow these same steps to edit all your scenes and make them match your own creative style. Now that all our images are ready, let's move on to the animation part. There are two ways to animate your scenes. The first option is to animate one image at a time. Just click on any image, then go to the video section by clicking here. In the animation prompt box, you'll need to type a detailed prompt. To make a really good one, I use ChatGPT to help. Here's how I do it. First, download the image you want to animate and upload it to ChatGPT. Then, copy and paste this prompt template below the image. Now, go back to Catalyst AI and copy the scene description for that specific image. Paste that into ChatGPT too. It will give you a perfect animation prompt that matches the scene and includes smooth camera movements. Copy that result and paste it into the prompt box in Catalyst. Now, choose your video generation model. There are several popular ones like Runway, Google VO, Kling, Pixverse, and more. Let's try animating this image with Runway to see how it looks. Then we'll do the same with Google VO too. Here's what I got from Runway. And here's the animation I got from Google VO. For me, I think Google VO gave the better result, so I'll go with that version. So that's how you can animate images one by one. But if you want to animate everything all at once, just click on Timeline. In the timeline, you'll see all your generated images lined up with voiceovers and background music. Now just click Generate All Videos. Choose your favorite video model and click Generate Videos again. Catalyst will now start animating all the scenes together, and honestly, it only takes a few minutes to finish everything. Once your video is ready, you can trim it and adjust the clips so they match your voiceover perfectly. If there's any part you want to redo, just click the pencil icon on that clip. Inside the editor, you'll see the prompt that was used to create that scene. You can update it or change it and regenerate the scene. Next, it's time to add voice and music. Click here to get started. You can either type in the script as text or upload your own audio file. In the text-to-speech section, you can add dialogues for your characters. Just pick a character, type the line of dialogue, and it will automatically turn it into audio. Then, just drag that audio to the timeline. If you already have a voiceover file, you can upload it here too. Once everything is set, click Export. And that's it. Your final video is now ready. Snow drifted gently over Winterfell, as Arya moved like a shadow, eyes sharp, watching the darkness. Jon stood ready in the courtyard, sword drawn, while the Unsullied braced behind him against the rising mist. Beneath the weirwood, Bran's mind soared as ravens burst into the night from twisted branches. The Night King rode forward, silent and cold, a single snowflake melting in his hand. Above the battlefield, Daenerys circled on Drogon, fire lighting the sea of the dead below. With Catalyst AI, you can create full videos, scripts, images, voices, and animation, all in one platform. You don't need to switch between different apps. It's simple and beginner-friendly. And yes, you can post them on YouTube and even start earning money. They also give you a 7-day free trial, so you can test out everything with no limits. Try it now using the link in the description. And if you enjoy using Catalyst AI and want to unlock everything, you can upgrade to a paid plan starting at just $29 per month. If you need any help, feel free to join our Discord or Telegram group. It's the perfect place to ask questions, share your creations, and connect with other creators who can help you make even better videos. Plus, you'll find all the AI tools and the exact prompts we used in this tutorial, so you can try them out yourself. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.